let's see what's up for you all. They're wanting to stick to the, <laughs> to the satin. Okay, there you go. All right. Okay, well, what I see, Capricorn, is you have been working very hard and you're wanting to put things in order. You've been doing your due diligence. Um, things are going to move fast. And interestingly enough, they're going to move fast towards your saying, okay, how do I want to... Um, see more abundance it's like you're stepping away from you see how uh, he's stepping away from his garden that he's built that's produced money let me grab my bond, my wand um he's he's contemplating and some news is going to come quickly like in a you know two or three day time period where it's going to cause you to contemplate what you're doing. You may hear news about um, the business news. It feels like a business and money, or these two, the wands are moving forward. And number eight uh, is about abundance. So how can you make your life more abundant with your work? What do you need to do? Who do you need to be in business with? So I see you contemplating that. I see a woman coming up for you all, Capricorn. And this could be an air sign. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, and she's going to be of, of offering of new kinds of money, new a different way. So by the end of May, this whole scenario is going to look different for you. This particular reading happens to be about your income. So, you know, sometimes it's about love, but this one we have two pinnacles and we have the wands. So this Queen of Swords is facing this page of pentacles. And it looks to me like this is someone who makes great decisions. She's an authority figure, so she could be a boss. She could be um, president of the country, company, <laughs> well, of a country too. Um, or she could be just someone who's like a manager, but she makes very quick and good decisions. And she's offering what it feels like this is you, the opportunity to make more income. This is the page of pentacles. And sometimes the page is someone who's younger. But what this comes out for me for you is this person may be a contemporary, meaning that, you know, your same age or um, within 10, 20 years, that's sort of the same age. In other words, not a child, because sometimes this does come up as a child, but I'm seeing it more as you're feeling new about how you're going to bring income in. She's giving you an opportunity. And if this is not an air sign, then it's someone who um, has those air qualities. They're thinking a lot. They're analyzing a lot. Um, they're, they're making spreadsheets. They're into you know, well, kind of like you. I mean, you're you're into that sort of thing. You're an earth sign, an earth sign that that works very hard. Um, but she's coming in with authority and helping make decisions for you to own this life with more abundance. And it may be a different type of abundance. It may be one that you know it's more balanced. Maybe you haven't felt balanced lately, Capricorn. So let's see what the two major arcana cards come out for May. This is interesting about some news that's going to come to you. This may be uh, from a company. It may be something you, an email you get, a text you get. It's going to cause you to pause and say, okay, how can I do this differently? And then this woman comes in and shows you, basically. All right. So we have the Judgment card and we have the Fool card. So the Judgment card tells me that this is going to allow you to rebirth a new way of lifestyle, a new way of thinking, really, about your particular position. So rebirth. And the universe also wants you to feel like, feel a happiness, a sense of joy, a sense of 
don't worry so much about the details, Capricorn. Um, and I say that in sort of a uh, <laughs> off-the-cuff way, because we do worry about the details. But to go it with it with a light heart. You see, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Fool. So however this turns out, it makes you feel more joy, more open-hearted, happier, less stress, more fulfillment. And like, you, you know, you could walk off this cliff and there's a net down here. So it's sort of like a childlike feeling of, okay, I'm going to quit being so dependent on the outcome that it's keeping you from having fun and being more maybe right-brained intuitive while you're doing it. So what I'm saying is, instead of being so analyzing, maybe open up to the the all the possibilities you know what all the net has to provide for you and i say net basically the universe has has your back see this dog is rearing up because he's happy that you're you're finally enjoying life they want you to enjoy life is what i'm getting what the universe is saying okay let me look in my crystal for capricorn capricorn sun moon arising yeah there's different windows of opportunities um, one, two, th one, two, and then another one that you might be open to. But they want you to see it with a clear focus. In other words, with like, say we, if you go on vacation, you come back and you feel refreshed and renewed. That's really how um, the universe and or the cards are saying you're going to have a rebirth of feeling, thoughts, emotions. Have fun with it. Don't feel so serious about it, Capricorn. Because you'll always be a worker. That shows up in the cards. And I don't mean uh, anything degrading by that. You'll always want to manifest in, in that. Okay, so what else is coming up for Capricorn? I see your totem animal animal as a buffalo, interestingly enough. So you may want to Google buffalo and see, um, well, we know they're large animals. They're mostly, like in the United States, we're in the north, northwest. Um, Wyoming is where I think of, and Montana. But, but Google their personality and how they get by on a day-to-day -day basis, how they live, how they get their food, and their, how they survive is important. Um, this past Easter, I don't know for some of you if it was an important turning point or Easter forward, because I just saw a bunny and it, it felt like it had, its, had a collar on, so it was being uh, tame from the wild. And so I'm not really sure how that, you know, what that means to each and every one of you, but I feel like this past Sunday and moving forward into May is going to uh, feel different for you. You're seeing new optimistic visions and hopes and probably some opportunity according to these cards. And there's someone, too, that's um, watching you. And I'm not saying that in a predatory way. There's someone who's watching you that they're, they're just admiring you. They are seeing how you're going to pull through a, a project or work you're doing or how you're living your life. This could even be a neighbor that admires you, but they don't, you know, they don't say it. So just know that you're not, it's not a stalker. It didn't feel like a stalker, but I saw in the crystal, but it just feel like someone who's um, kind of watching the moves you're making in life. 